Stop dreaming about winning 2023 elections, presidency tells the PDP. And APGA hails court ruling on Charles Saludo, but demands apology from INEC. This is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anacle. The ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, has disclosed its resolve to produce a consensus presidential candidate in the lead up to the 2023 general elections. The statement made in a recent reaction to allegations by the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, saying that President Muhammadu Buhari was planning a self-succession bid. The presidency told the PDP to stop dreaming of winning the 2023 general elections because the masses will still reckon with President Muhammad Buhari and will never abandon him. Well, joining us to discuss this is Kajatan Duke. He is uh, the Director General of the All Progressive Congress Media Center uh, in Imo State. And also joining us is Taf Taufik Ghani. He is the People's Democratic Party uh, PDP Publicity Secretary in Lagos State. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. All right, Taufik, I'm going to start with you, obviously. Um, why does the PDP believe uh, that the president has uh, a self-succession bead of sorts? I mean, because this is what uh, has been insinuated by the PDP. Uh, what has the president done or said? Or, or what, has, what have you seen, um, you know, in the body language of Mr. President that would warrant this statement? I, well, to me, I, um, I think it is not even the PDP. Probably the PDP is the loudest. Even uh, the social and so cultural groups have said it. So many people have also said it. Uh, people from even outside the country have said it. And I think whether they are care about it or not, the least that is likely to come out is that we will have a party by party. That another person who will be 100 percent buy agenda. But the unfortunate thing is that it's not even a progressive way forward. I mean, it's going to be the negative uh, way forward because what scorecard has President Buhari uh, given to Nigerians to warrant, I mean, the gods to even want to uh, let APC continue. So there is no doubt about it that there is that expression and plan. Is either Buhari as a person who continue because. Like the social cultural group said, it is specifically a very, very, that President Bari is planning a situation where the country will be so destabilized, disintegrated, that we may not even have elections in 2023. And the constitution is clear. I mean, they can always manipulate and manipulate. Eventually, you will find a situation where there will be an extension. So that's short time. Even if it is for one day, it's short time. So the unfortunate aspect of it is that it's not even like you have a very positive scorecard to show. So Nigerians that we even make Nigerians be the one that we even demand that you continue. So so we are in such situation in this country now that it is badly to carry us. I would just need to be very, very careful. I I I I used to I used to say that President Bari should be allowed, President Bari should be allowed. But I can tell you that in the last two and a half years I've been so disappointed in him as a person leading us. Because it just appears that this man has got no clue. And the party is so strong in you know, lies, in deceit, and, 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 and they're just playing on the intelligence of Nigerians, playing on the, 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 the assumptions of Nigerians that they would rather stay with the government uh, uh, than go uh, like uh, uh, an uprising, and then eventually we have a uh, civil war. Mr. In some instances, we have had PDP, PDP being the party. That is even checkmating opposition against this government. Just because we believe that this Nigeria will remain one, but if they go out blackmailing the PDP as the opposition, that is not the progressive. It is the ruling party that should take responsibility for all that is happening. Because well, I know that the other the PDP, especially under President Lojuna, less than 30% of what is happening in this country now happened. And they so broke, they so overblew it, they did it as if it was more than that. Today, 
President Buhari is one of those who is saying that Nigeria should stop condemning Nigeria outside the shores of this country. But remember very well that one of the reasons why we still have Boko Haram was that they went as an agenda, the APC, desperate to take power from Jonathan. They went as an agenda to America to say that Nigeria was going to use those Tokano airplanes then to fight the opposition. They were in the opposition then. They, 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 they should destroy this country. They have okay. some activists that I don't want to mention, but we all know them. Lawyers, FAA. Okay. okay. And, uh, and, um, and literature places. Today, today, these people are so quiet. They cannot talk again hmm. because they have sold their hands. Now, the unfortunate thing is that the heavens, like you say, will fall out. will fall on everybody. We are in a very, very bad situation and we it. Okay. We just have to let these people manage themselves and go away. But Ta they Mr. must Taffy. not. They Mr. must Taffy. not the They must not. It's allowed for more than our representatives. Come 2023. Okay. All right. I don't know if you can hear me, Mr. Taffy, but we have to take a quick again. break. Can you hear me? We need to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue this conversation. I think that you really cannot hear me, but we'll be right back after the break. Thank you for joining us. It's still Plus Politics, and we are talking about the APC and the PDP going head-to-head -head as to what will happen in 2023. And before we went on that break, we were talking with uh, Taufik Ghani. He's the uh, P PDP Publicity Secretary here in Lagos. Well, joining us uh, now is the, um, gen the Director General of the APC Media Center in Imo. Uh, Kajitan, unfortunately, you did not hear half of what Taufik said, but then there, there are obviously allegations, uh, and he has said that he concurs that the APC doesn't, um, or rather that the APC doesn't have a succession plan, that it might be Mr. President coming back in 2023, or probably um, somebody that is just like the president. But your party has said that he has a consensus candidate. He will come up with a consensus candidate, a candidate that um, Nigerians will appreciate. But then you have also said that, um, I would like to... Um, say what the uh, presidency, uh, presidency's response was to the PDP on this particular matter. The presidency, I'd like to quote Garba who has said that um, they're certain that power will return to the APC in 2023. Garba who said the masses will still reckon with the president and will not abandon him. So I'm trying to understand the last part of that statement, that, that the masses will reckon with the president and will not abandon him. Um, was there a poll that was taken by the APC to um, test the pulse of the people as to how they feel about Mr. President? Uh, did you speak to people? Is this as a result of the reactions that you've gotten from Nigerians, or is this a figment of your imagination? Um, well, first and foremost, man, let me thank you for having me this evening. Um, let me let me go back to the the allegation of the African Democratic Party. It, it, it is unfortunate that uh, the People's Democratic Party failed as a ruling party for 16 years and are also failing as an opposition party in Nigeria in history. Um, it is mischievous and ridiculous to allude or uh, to allege that uh, President Muhammad Buhari is uh, having or not for a talk-term agenda. In fact, that talk-term agenda is a, a, a political legacy in our political history was brought into existence by the People's Democratic Party. It is not, it is not an origination of APC, and I can tell you categorically clear that um, uh, the, our party and the president has no intention to to, to stay in office beyond his uh, his uh, constitutionally guaranteed two terms, which is seven. Okay, what I like to say that. Uh, um, Agama Shell said that the prosperity, when Mr. When Mr. President leaves office, prosperity will always remember him for what he has done for the good work he has been doing in Nigeria, which is unprecedented in the history of Nigeria. Uh, like uh, the National Secretary of our party said, clearly stated, the party is trying to ensure that we do not distract the president with uh, individual ambition, but at the appropriate time, at the appropriate time that the party will come up with a consensus that will reflect the interest and aspiration of the greater percentage of the people. 
That is the position. So, uh, uh, but uh, you haven't answered all of my questions because Garba Shehu, again, I, I'd, I'd say, is saying that the, the bid for 2023 is fully hinged on the fact that Nigerians are going to stand by the president. Um, they will of not course. abandon him. Um, of course. Of course. And, and I'm asking, and I'm asking, um, did, did, did the APC have, did, I'm sorry, did the APC have a, a, a poll did you do, um, like, uh, did you go to the people and ask them this, or is this a reaction that the people have given you in the different states, or is this just a, something that the APC is imagining? Of, of course. It, the, the people will not abandon the president. Whosoever the president is standing behind in 2027, the people will likewise stand behind the, 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 the person, the particular candidate of the party, because the president is standing behind the person. Who are these people that you are making reference to? Is it the people that are in the APC states or Nigerians at large? Sorry, come again. Who are the people that you keep mentioning? These people that will stand by the president, are they people in the APC states or Nigerians at large? Of course, the, the Nigeria city Interesting. Um, has the president and the APC really stood by the masses? As, as, as Garba Shehu is saying, have, has the president been there for the people? Has he supported the people as he should? Do, uh, and really, how, how does the APC hope that they will get this overwhelming support from the people if your Come answer again, is in the negative. Again, if the presidency is hoping to get the people's support in 2023, and already um, Garba Shehu is preempting and saying that the people will stand by the president and not abandon the president, how well has the presidency and the APC stood by the people of Nigeria, these same people that they're hoping will stand by them in 2023, such that the people recipro reciprocate uh, when they yes. want it to happen? Yes. Yes, beyond beyond the beyond the political manipulations and uh, and the sponsored uh, attacks um, by the opposition PDP, the the, the the generality, the greater percentage of the Nigerian masses are totally are completely standing strongly behind Mr. President and all his people oriented projects and policies. Your, you said sponsored attacks by the opposition. What attacks are you referring to? Media media sponsors attacks. Media sponsored attacks. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Taufik, would you care to respond to Katatan Duke? Mr. Taufik, can you hear me? Mr. Taufik, can you hear me? I think that we lost him, but let's, let's go ahead. Um, according to the APC, I'm coming back to you, Duke. Um, the PDP has been accused of giving false hope to Nigerians um, that be because of the alleged poor performance of Mr. President, according to your APC, um, and, and you know the, the insecurity that we're facing and all of the shortcomings uh, that the ruling APC uh, at the national level, um, you know, is not doing its job, and so that the PDP is saying they will win in 2023, and you're saying that that is false, that the PDP does not have what it takes to win in 2023. Why do you think that? Well, the truth, the truth is very clear. The, the, the Nigerian masses know where, where we were in 2015 and where we are today. And looking back, the people that dragged us to where we took off from are the same people that are asking a return, a return ticket. You see, Nigerian people are not fools that they, 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 that they, will, they, will, they will hope for the people, they will hope for solution from the same people that created the problem we are facing today. All the whole problem we are facing today are people that, the problems that we have created, not charged. By the People's Democratic Party PDP, and uh, it will be it will be it will be it will be so hard to believe that the same person, the same people, the same group of people that created the problem we are having today will are uh, coming back to solve the problem when they could not solve the problem for 16 years in office. So we are moving forward, and uh, and I, 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 I can assure you, I can assure you that, 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 that if you see what is what, what is happening, majority of the PDP um, uh, elected officials are moving in droves into APC. For but their actualization of their of their political survival. So I don't know who and who left behind the PDP in terms of to, to actualize the PDP return to power. Interesting. You made mention of what where we were in 2015 compared to now. So you're telling me that we are in a better place compared to 2015 um, in every wise. I, I'd like to remind you of the three 
things that the presidency, um, the president himself campaigned on. He promised to give us uh, security. He promised to put an end to Boko Haram. But I'm guessing we have much more than Boko Haram right now in 2021 to deal with. Uh, the president did promise that he was going to give us employment and put an end to all of the economic stress that, and turmoil that we have been facing as a country. We still haven't seen that. And of course, the president did promise to fight corruption. But um, I do not know, what's your scorecard as the APC, someone who's speaking uh, on behalf of the party? Um, are we really in a better place? And I want you to give me facts. Okay. Now, I, I want to draw your attention that period to 2015 general election, period to 2015 general election, we are having, we are having bomb blast on a daily basis. Really? We are having bomb blast on a daily basis in the federal capital territory Abuja. Okay. That's we are thing. having bomb blast every day. We have subdued insurgency into the... Did we really have bomb blast every day? Hmm? I said right. facts. I want you to be factual. Yeah, I'm factual. You can every you can, day. You, you, you can confirm it. We are like having we are have, like having bomb blast on a daily basis in the total capital of Abuja. We have not forgotten this. Every day. Now, in the issue of in the issue of corruption, the the the, 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 the FPC government has has, has, has stood so, so firm and so so clear on the issue of corruption and the, the prosecution of corruption related to cases in Nigeria. And of course, the, 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 the records are there. We we have had records of former governors. Who, have, who are not having who are not having their 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 in 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 congressional sentence. We, we, we have had former senators who have who have served some who have served and who are still serving their jail time in 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 the congressional sentence across the country. Why before in PDP in during the during the of PDP? Uh, what about the what about the, the governors who? somewhat have corruption cases but are now members of the APC. Where is their jail term? Where is their day in court? There is no, there is no protection. There is no protection for anybody in APC. There is no protection for anybody in APC. And I can give you one example. In Imo, in Imo State, for instance, we have an APC governor who is, who is, who is recovering, who is recovering looted properties of the state, from so, former APC government. I want I want I, I want you to. I, I would want you to quickly respond in terms of insecurity. But let me just do a little. You know, let, let me give you some background to what where we are in 2021. We have um, killer herdsmen. It started as killer herdsmen, and then it became herders versus farmers conflict. Then it became banditry, and then kidnapping. And we still have Boko Haram in the fringes, of course. And now, um, and then at some point, Boko Haram hoisted a flag uh, in Niger State, a few kilometers away from the FCT. Um, as we speak, we have had several cases of these same killer herdsmen in the Southwest. This is something that has reverberated and has caused some form of reaction where you have Southern governors asking for an outright ban of open grazing. We also have ethnic agitations and non-state actors creeping up as a result of the insecurity in this country. Uh, but you're telling me that the only thing that the APC has done, and this is I'm quoting you, is that when we were in 2015, we had bomb blasts in the FCT every day, according to you, uh, and that that's no more. So this is your tick on the box of fighting insecurity. Are you for real? <laughs> Mr. Duke, my, that, that question was for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think we can hear Mr. Duke. But Mr. Taufik, are, are you back? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Uh, Mr. Taufik, I, I don't know if you heard half of what Mr. Duke said uh, in terms of what the APC has done. Uh, so far that would warrant Nigerians to stand by Mr. President come 2023. Um, let me just quickly go to what um, Garba Shehu has said about the PDP. He's saying that you have given the people false hope. You have made them believe that because of a few, um, you know, shortcomings of the presidency, that you would quickly swoop in in 2023 and win the elections, but that you do not have what it takes. 
Uh, and, but does he have a point? Because we see a lot of your governors and some of your senators uh, cross capiting We've seen a lot of it. And in fact, as, it, as we speak, the PDP is, um, you know, in court um, as to the Zamfara, uh, the Zamfara state governor or, and his defection. Mr. Taufik, can you hear me? Go ahead. I did not hear you clearly, but I, I can I can I can I can talk about the chief because uh, you you said it in the opening remark. Let, let me tell you, the only persons that are that are still the living president uh, Buhari and the APC are the Kalkari members of APC and the staff of the president. It is so bad that the APC uh, is today saying that uh, the PDP, PDP. Hello. Yes, go ahead. He's saying that the PDP failed. What we are using today, this mode of communication today, is a legacy put down by the PDP. I was talking about GSF. The worst recession came up and affected the whole world. Even America could not survive it. We survived it was under PDP. Okonje Wella is still alive. We brought it, we brought the point place all over the world to come and help Nigeria. That is not happening under this. We had a country that was so united, it was under the PTP. We gave democracy to Nigeria. We repeated democracy. We repeated it before time. It was under the, 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 the PDP. As we talk today, the railway, which is going to be about the biggest legacy that the APC will want to claim, was initiated, was started, was actually put in motion by President William Jonathan. And we all saw it. The record is there. It is also unfortunate that we have a party that thinks about itself as a party and not as Nigerians and doing and, and, and trying to do what Nigeria wants. In any case, let me go back specifically on what uh, uh, Gaba Shehu has said. Gaba Shehu must talk like that. He's representing the president. He might not even be saying this because he's convinced that he let me see he can, can, can deliver. But for him to embarrass Nigeria by saying that the marriage will be for President Buhari, how? It is not possible because even in the North, go to the North today and conduct opinion polls. President Buhari today is not right at all. He's no more right in the North. And it have was you, have, you, the have you conducted an opinion poll to, to come uh, to that Jonathan conclusion? Jonathan was going to continue South uh, uh, control of the country that made the PDP lose that election. It was not because the PDP had said or President Buhari did not have said. It was just a simple geopolitical arrangement which the PDP miscalculated. And I'm going to concede that. And, 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 and then uh, cause that loss. And of course, the overambition of some of PDP members who went to the APC, who have come back now regrettably. You know what I mean? So, but we, we continue to speak as patriots. The PDP, I mean, we continue to speak as patriots. You will hear every time the PDP national representative wants to speak or a chief of the party wants to speak, we will speak to destroy this country. It is not in the character of the PDP. That is what the tradition, that is what everybody knows the APC for. Today, the APC is denying a lot of things that they, 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 they were in the forefront and uh, eventually destroyed this country. Now they are denying that they ever participated in such a like destroying the image of the country to make them believe that the PDP was bad, the PDP was anti people, was anti human rights, uh, they were sponsoring Boko Haram, okay. they, they were doing this, they were doing that. So I am just going to say that the Nigerian people are waiting for 2023 like it should be today. They, I, 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 I can put it back. I can put it there that in the first place, this disjointed APC that does not even have the ESCO that is using the theatrical committee is not even likely to survive since 2003. Okay. But assuming that President Buhari wants to desperately impose himself, because you remember, okay. this was the same person in 1984 that destroyed democracy that put us back 20 years. All right. If he were to him, if he were, if he were, if he were him today, that we have bad governance. I, and him as the head person, and then the military takes over. I cannot, I cannot tell. All right, let me just ask a quick question because we're out of time. One last question to you. 
Um, yes, you have made, you know, your points about the APC, and of course the APC man has also spoken for his party. But we see the, the infighting in your party. We see the losses that you have taken. Um, I mean, we started in Cross River, and then Eboi, and then you have Zamfara. Um, do you think the PDP has what it takes even to, you know, survive in 2023? Do you have what it takes to you know, produce a president that the people um, can accept all across the country because, of course, he has to be one that is um, wanted by all. Oh, the PDP, the PDP are always <laughs> have the, the, the biggest asset for now to win the APC is the rejection of the APC by the masses. And we we'll continue to say it. Unless the APC is actually going to hatch that plan by the president not to have election in 2023. That's the only reason why they will insist that they must win 2000. Because it is so obvious that they cannot win election. Everywhere there is failure. Education, there is failure. Infrastructure, there is failure. Uh, security, failure. Nigeria is well divided than any, ever, uh, than ever, uh, any other period uh, in the history. Okay. Now, the PDP is, however, not going to play the role that was played by the APC because we want to win 2023. We are only saying that the INEC and all electoral bodies come 2023 must give free, fair, credible election. Okay. Anybody, anybody that contests under the PDP, I am from any geopolitical role, will win anybody that comes under the APC. As I speak to you, as I speak to you, by way of, of, of revealing to you, they are already planning another nomenclature. They want to change the name because that APC cannot fight okay. as a brand again. Okay. And we know this, why right? this we is We have to together. go. These we are, these are allegations and we do not have time to break them down. But I want to say thank you um, to the Director General of the APC Media Center, Imo State, um, um, Kajetan Duke, and of course the People's Democratic Party Publicity Secretary here in Lagos State, Taufik Ghani. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for speaking with us. We have to go. All right. Well, thank you all for staying and watching. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, we will discuss the court affirmation uh, of the candidacy of Charles Chukuma Soludo for APGA in Anambra State. Uh, some jubilate, and others are not happy. We'll be right back to the break. Thank you.